Hi everyone, in this video we're going to add a synth part to our project. So let's listen to what we've got so far. Okay, so let's create a new MIDI track. We're then going to open up the ADSR sample manager. And we're just going to rename this synth. and color code that pink. So from here we've got our tags, we've got our files. This time I'm going to go into the files. I know that I've got some nice new synths in my new techno packs so I can search just this or I could search more if I wanted to but I'm going to search just this one. I know I've got some good synths in here but I'm not sure which pack so instead of being specific to one pack I'm just going to search all of my new techno packs. We can see we've got a filter applied. Let's type something in so we can search for synths the synth tag and we can see all of our synths here we could change this from an or to an and so I'll change it to and so we've got all of our synths and we could go for bass synths just by clicking that tag we've got two bass synths they're quite nice We can sort using the name, type, BPM and tags. So we'll go for name and let's just listen to some of these. So this one sounds quite good to me, but we're going to mess around with it a bit this time. So we'll set it to stop. So sounding good so far, but this is obviously not in the right place. So let's try. So that sounds good, but I've noticed if I hold down my key for too long, it carries on playing the loop. And I'm going to use this as a stab, I think. So we'll go for something like that. Okay, so that's working quite nicely for me. What we'll do is we'll add some effects to that just to make it sit in the mix a bit better. So I've just got some reverb and we'll go for something a little bit heavier. And then we can record something in. So what I'm going to do is hit record into the session and we'll try and add a bit of a syncopated groove. Okay guys, so that is our synth stab in place and you've learned a little bit about how you can sort and order through all of your samples held within the ADSR sample manager. I'll see you in the next video where we'll have a look at pads.